Hey there riders, Motogenic Chris here today and I've finally got my hands on Yamaha's MT-03. This is the 2020 model, it's got a number of updates and today I wanted to have a chat about the ergonomics and how you as a rider might fit this bike because obviously it's a naked bike so that itself carries, you know, a certain kind of seating position and a certain kind of ergonomic which is a more relaxed ergonomic a more upright ergonomic but at the same time of course because these are an entry-level bike a low seat height is really important and general comfort is important because a lot of people are going to be commuting on one of these machines now one thing I will say is I was on the R15 before this which had a higher seat height and a sportier seating position and I really appreciated jumping on the MT-03. The 780mm seat height and the very narrow bike design between the legs, that seat gets very very narrow up here at the tank and then wider at the rear for good comfort. That does mean that generally speaking you've got a very easy reach to the ground as long as you're not too short while also having good comfort overall because you can move back in that seat. Obviously, pillion seat there, bit of room for a pillion. I'm not gonna go into too much detail there because while you know there's a reasonable perch on the back and a reasonable reach to those pegs, it's probably not a bike that you're gonna be touring around the countryside too up on. Whereas jumping on the bike itself, you'll immediately notice that it's a very, very easy reach to the ground. I'm about 180 centimetres, I've got a 32 inch inseam and I find there's heaps and heaps of room on this bike for me. If anything, there's a lot of room to spare when it comes to reaching the ground, which means that if you're a shorter rider than me, you know, there's probably a good, you know, a good bit of room on that seat, which means a wide variety of riders are going to be able to get two feet down and if you're on the shorter side you might only get one foot down but this is going to be one of the shortest seat heights available for you in this naked bike category and in the general bike category the only thing which is probably going to get a little bit better than this is if you're looking at a cruiser something like perhaps the cmx 500 from honda or you know like a harley cruiser the street 500 those have very very low seat heights however for this style bike you're just not going to get much lower Getting into the more natural seating position, as you can see here, I've got the arch of my foot on the peg. I am covering that rear brake. I fit nicely under that new tank. The tank itself is much wider at the top and it is a little bit taller as a result. Now that's moved the bars up, which with these very wide bars, you've got really good leverage through them. And as I said, you're very, very upright because it's a naked bike. And when you combine that with the fact that you can lock into the bike very easily, if you're a similar dimension to me, is a very confidence inspiring experience for you on a bike like this, which for a new rider is important. The one thing I will mention is with the arch of my feet on those pegs, I lock into the bike nicely. Once I get the toes up, I can lock in really, really well to the bike. However, if you've got significantly longer legs than me, I'm not sure whether you might run out of room to fit in under the tank or whether the bike may be a little bit small for you. Whereas for me, at 180 centimetres, as I said, 32 inch inseam, I find it really perfect. Now, while we're getting a much larger tank, it's still only got a 14 litre fuel capacity. The bike itself is very, very light. I think it's 172 kilos or 178 kilos wet, so fully fueled, all ready to go, which is a nice lightweight machine. You've got those wide bars, which give lots of leverage, which makes it very easy to steer, as well as, of course, the overall nimble package that you're getting from Yamaha, which thanks to a long swing arm is also really stable. So again, an ideal option for new riders. With the upright seating position, you've got good vision through the mirrors, which again is gonna help your confidence because as you're learning, you'll be able to see behind you very, very easily. And also being upright, the head checks is very, very easy. So again, there's a lot of factors which just being a naked bike are gonna help as a new rider, but also specifically on this machine, there, there are good features. A couple of things to note, you do not have adjustable levers. You'll have to buy your own if you wanna do that. So if you've got much smaller or much larger hands, you will need to keep that in mind. I would say they're pretty much ideal for me. I wouldn't feel the need to change these levers simply for a little bit more reach, but of course it's a nice bling factor. The LCD display is very, very simple. It's very much in your view, obviously, even with a helmet on. And you've also got those indicators which are quite visible there. So you've got the indicator lights on the dash, which are gonna blink at you when you've got them on in case you leave them on. But you're also probably gonna be able to see the indicators running if you leave them on, which is a nice feature again. 
While the bike's much larger and kind of wider and flared out tank at the top does make the bike feel like a much larger full-size machine, particularly compared to the outgoing MT-03, Again, there's no loss of that feeling of light and nimbleness for a small capacity machine like this. So it gives you that big bike feel, but you've still got that nice small bike handling and confidence inspiring kind of feel to it, which again, you know, that's important for new riders and you'll be able to have a heap of fun on this. And of course, as you spend more time on the bike and your skills improve and obviously you're riding a bit harder, you're not gonna feel like you're stuck on a tiny little machine. On the suspension side of things, as I hopefully have mentioned, it's updated suspension on this model. It's USD forks now, non-adjustable forks. So you don't have the option if you're a different weight rider to adjust the forks at all, but probably not too much of a concern on a bike in this kind of price range. I'm 70 kilos, often have 10 kilos of camera gear on my back and I find it pretty much ideal. On the rear, you've also got an updated shock. You've got preload adjustability there. So you've got a little bit of adjustability on the rear and that tends to be the preload is where you adjust for your weight, which is a nice feature, but quite a supple overall system. And I'll say where the old MT-03 was more of a softer system, this is a supple system, which I would say gives it a little bit more of a sporty edge and is a little bit more controlled than the outgoing bike. Moving around on the bike is also easy. Obviously you've got those wide bars and you can really move the bike without having to shift off the seat at all. And uh, you'll really feel that while you're riding. But also moving off the seat is quite easy because as I said, it's a nice quite narrow seat at the front and then it gets quite wide at the back, which offers good comfort. And there's a nice bit of padding in that seat, which means if you're commuting on this bike, you're gonna be comfortable. You're not gonna be really uncomfortable feeling like you're on, you know, like a sports bike seat, which is practically just a piece of wood with a tiny bit of foam over it. There's a nice bit of padding on this seat, which I do appreciate. But of course, being so narrow at the tank does mean that if you're right up against the tank, you lose a little bit of that comfort. You do need to move back a little bit on the bike. The overall ride triangle is quite compact. I'd say a lot of that compactness comes between that seat to peg ratio. I felt like the pegs were a little bit further forward on this bike compared to the R15, which I was riding before, which of course is a sportier machine, which gives it again a bit more of a relaxed feel, but there's a nice reach to those bars and it keeps you very, very upright. Uh, I wouldn't want the bars any higher and they've, while they've got a little bit of angle back towards the rider for them, they're quite a wide and flat bar at the end of the day if a little bit taller than the outgoing model, which actually mirrors what we saw in the R3, it had slightly taller bars as well, which I did hear from some larger riders, gave them a little bit more room on the bike. Now you're gonna have to watch my full review to get my entire thoughts on riding this particular bike. But as far as the ergonomics and the fit for riders, I think this is a really great option to check out. The low seat height, the nice compact reach to the pegs, the fact that it's gonna suit shorter riders very, very well, but still cater to riders, particularly around my height at say 180 centimeters, is definitely a winning combination for me. I do think that there's the possibility that some riders, if they've got much, much longer legs than me, might start to run out of room under the tank, but I can't say for sure. That's just something that I'm assuming because again, I fit on this bike so perfectly and I can lock into it so easily, which really helps probably on the more, as you're getting a bit more confident on the bike, but combine that with the easy reach to the ground and it's a great starting point and a bike which is gonna definitely work in the long term for you and give you plenty of potential. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to sub, hit that notification bell. If you've got any questions at all, just ask down below in the comments. As always, stay safe out there and thanks for watching.